New ECG alert. New ECG alert. New ECG alert. New ECG alert. How to play Mind Bug in five minutes or so. Here we have Mind Bug by the incredible, impeccable Richard Garfield. His newest game, not counting Soul Forge, that he's co-designed and is yet to release. To set up Mind Bug, each player gets two Mind Bugs each and three life, which can be tracked with dice or anything. Okay, we're going to shuffle the 48 card base set of cards and deal each player five cards each. Okay, so each player is going to be drawing from their own five card deck. At the end of each turn, you're going to always draw back up to five cards until, of course, your, I said five cards, five card hand, five card starting deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so out of your ten card deck, you're going to have a, a hand of five. Okay, now... Mind bug, so far we've only got five keywords. We'll get into those in a second. But each player draws a five card hand. Each player starts with three life points. To win, you have to make your opponent go to zero life points. So on, on a player's turn, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to either play a card or two, you can attack with a single creature. Okay, now anytime you play a single creature, the opponent can react to that by playing a mind bug and simply stealing your creature. Now, after your creature is stolen and mind bugged, then of course the opponent will you will uh, get rid of one of your mind bugs. You've only got two mind bugs for the whole game. They take your creature, and then you get to take your turn over again. You basically start your turn over again. So then you would maybe play another creature. They can mind you, bug you again if they want to. But let's say they let you keep this creature out. Okay, you play that creature, then it's the opponent's turn. Okay, so then you would draw back up to five after you have played a card. And then the opponent, they could either play a card or attack with a single creature. Say that they attack with a single creature. This is the power and toughness. This is the power and the toughness. So say that they attack with a single creature. Five on four. Normally five would kill four and five would survive. But in this case, this guy has one of the five key words, poisonous. Poisonous would kill anything that it... Poisonous would kill anybody that it attacks or whatever. Anybody, poisonous kills any blocker, but it can still die itself. So in this case, both of these guys would die. But okay, so um, this guy, whenever you play, okay, we've got some, okay, let's go into the five keywords. We've got frenzy. If it survives, it can attack a second time this turn. We've got Poisonous. It auto-kills any blocker, but it can still die itself. We've got Hunter. We've got Hunter. You pick the blocker voluntarily, so they've got to block you whenever you pick them out. We've got Sneaky. Can only be blocked by other sneaky creatures. Kind of like flying. And last but not least, we've got Tough. If defeated, you would just tap the guy instead of discarding him whenever he's defeated. Okay. Then the opponent can only block with one creature. And we've also got some play effects. This would happen whenever you play the card. We've got attack effects, which only happen 
when the creature attacks. And then we've got defeated effects, which happen after the creature has been defeated. So basically, that's about it. Get the opponent down to zero life. You've won. And that's all I got for today. Y'all have a good one. I'll holler. Peace.